Terry Buckmaster, eighth grade science teacher at Northeast High School. And just want to kind of talk about how we began working together. So, Terry, so let's talk about how we started working together. I know I always wanted to get over here to help with the students, but my schedule was really crazy. I didn't get a chance to get over here as early as I would have liked. But we finally came together. So, well, um, Muriel's, I've gotten to know her through the last couple years through her department. She'd always come over and check on my ELL students and see what was going on and if I needed any help. And I think this year when she came over, we met, I just said, I just really said I need help. I, know I had a large population of ELL students in one of my classes at that time, and she thought, well, I'll just come over and start seeing if we can help. And she really started pushing with me about communication with the kids, how they got to communicate, they've got to talk. And so that's how we got started, and it has been a amazing journey. Oh, my goodness. Can't even talk about it. She's uh, brought in a lot of good stuff for me to, to use in the classroom, which I haven't been doing. It's, I can see the difference it's making with the kids. Um, it's just been awesome. One of the things that um, I, I recall, one of the biggest changes was the team building aspect of your classroom. Mm -hmm. And I know when I first came in, the kids used to hide in these little cubbies in the room. There's these little corners where the lab stations. Mm -hmm. And they used to like to just all hover around these little corners. And you had their desks, but a lot of them were just all over the room. Yes. And we had a conversation about them having more interaction mm -hmm. and talking more and just the whole team building aspect. And then I was away for a while because I was testing. And when I came back, you had this amazing system set up. And she had, um, and what she's done is every, t every group has, or every hour, she teaches six hours or six different um, sections of eighth graders. And so each one of them is identified by a color and she made these tents. So we have eight tables and every table has a number. So all the kids now are assigned to a group mm -hmm. and when they come in in the morning, when they come in whenever, whatever time during the day, they, they go to their section that has their color and they get their tent and their tent has their group points. You also started awarding group mm -hmm. points for participation. And we've done some other group activities um, using selector tools and colors mm -hmm. to select them, to randomize them answering certain questions. So there's a lot of that's been going on with that as well. So did you want to elaborate on Well, on this that? was, this um, was a uh, concept that was introduced when we had SFA in the district success for all reading and the sheet that I used for the team building was what we used and it was just really good. So uh, the tent idea, I I don't know where I could just kind of, I think I saw somebody use it and I thought it was pretty good. But the colors of the rainbow is what I've used for years for the kids just to get to know colors of the rainbow and Roy G. Biv. So, trying to tie in with them getting to identify visual light and what it breaks up into and team building. 